So it's been a couple of days since we got the stones sorted for the original like, servants entrance, work entrance and they're looking absolutely brilliant obviously they've dried really well nice and solid now so now the like free courses that we've got done are all secure we're going to fill in this part and then hopefully get the, the next two layers on so we've got one more layer to go on here and then we've got the curved cap and stone so yeah and then it'll all be sorted and we'll give that a couple of days to go off once that's gone off then we'll be able to pop the gate on and hopefully it'll all line up and it'll all be okay fingers crossed but like I said it's looking fantastic we've got a bit more down here to carry on pointing at the wall um, and I think once I've got the, the actual level of where the gate posts are then I'll sort of carry the level along and blend it down a bit because we've got quite a lot of the wall which is obviously just came away just because of all of the roots and all like that have grew in so I'll probably take this top part down and then just do it right the way across the same level so it all just blends in and so you can see we've got quite a lot that's all broke away as well so I'll blend it in it'll just be past the tree so all of the side looks nice and tidy and then once we've done that hopefully we can look at getting this side cleared so this is purely just getting all of the ivy roots off this side and um, bit of repair work to do on the top on this top stone work but it's mainly getting the ivy off and then just getting it all repointed so that sink that obviously anyone can do when they come over so if we've got family over or volunteers it's like a nice little job to do um, and working on this side you're working in the shade a lot so it's a good place to work so yeah like I said we can get all of that ivy off up the top there it's all dead now so it should just come straight off so like I said what I'll do is I'll get the cement mixer on now to get this little gap filled here I'll quickly show you now so all we're doing as we're going along once we get the stones in place and the level we're just backfilling it all so I'm filling that with all of the old stone that's obviously not faced or dressed we're chucking that in there putting loads of sand and cement so it just binds it all together so yeah instead I'll uh, get this cement mixer on now and get cracking
So, it's another day and another day to get on with a job that we didn't expect to be doing so soon. So getting the rest of the gate posts sorted, the down here. Now, obviously it's a job that we weren't actually planning on doing so soon, but already it's looking absolutely amazing to, to get the gate posts built up, get the walls sorted out. So it's obviously all structurally safe because quite a lot of it has fell down over the years. So it'd be good to, to get it all sorted and obviously have it an entrance so we can actually use them. We've got our little fountain now, which is doing brilliant. So that's good. Like I said, just trying to get up here tidy as much as we can so we've got our own sort of personal space. Mam's rockery is doing absolutely amazing. Obviously we only planted this last year, but you can see it. We've got French lavender there. We've got all the other ones I think we've got English, Dutch. There's all sorts of different ones within the rockery. Um, we've got I'll show you some other little bits now. So this is Mum's little rockery, what we've done last year. And the lavenders are absolutely massive now. All just about a flower as well. They smell amazing. So got one there, that one. There's another big one over there. And then there's one in a pot feather over there. Um, and we've got all these that are popping up now. I think someone give us one or two of these and we've planted just you, you literally just take a piece off and plant it somewhere else and it starts growing and they're doing fantastic and then we've got all our thyme which is all coming through again smelling amazing and then the massive one here that's taken over is a big curry plant so if you like the smell of curry then it's brilliant um well it's good there to hide this sort of area against the wall but yeah it's doing really well so yeah so mum's rockery like I said it's doing amazing now we just want to extend it so this whole area is just tidy just so when we come down here with guests or obviously when we just want to escape and have some quiet time then we can get down here but better get down here now, get sorted because we need to get the next row of stones on and then get the top cap and stone on to finish the pillar off so we can let that set and then once that's set we'll be able to get the gate on in the next couple of days which will be brilliant. So I'll get down there now and crack on.
So it's another day, it's another day working on the wall and the gate posts and they've dried absolutely amazing and um, just seeing it coming along now. Mum's just going to get a, a bit of sand so we can get the first mix on and get that sorted but I've got one sort of level left to do on the top here to get it up to here and then I can take a bit of this down and then it'll all blend in nicely. But Normally what they would do is the walls would go up to the same height as this and curve around but even though we've got absolutely loads of stone here we haven't got that much dressed stone um, and I don't fancy going all the way up to the forest to rummage through all of that so I think we're just going to go up to this level and then we'll sort of cap it at this level and just have a, a straight wall right the way along and it's enough privacy for us anyway and it'll uh, look it looked decent. It would tie in with the other side, which you can see around here. Because um, this one's all crumbling as well. So, if you can see on the top of the pillar there, that one is at about that level anyway. So, they're going to both tie in if we do it at that level. But yeah, so, get it all drying well. All the hinge is dried in, which is brilliant. So, once we've got this built, we're going to scrape all of this away because it's built up quite a bit over the years. And the way the, the gates work, I'll show you on the one that's here now. So, right the way down the bottom, they have this like metal block which has got a pin on it. And the base of the gate sits in to this pin. So all of the weight goes down into the bottom there. So it's from the top down to the bottom so we don't actually have a hinge going into the, the stone wall they all just pivot on the bottom so yeah and I've looked through and the actual pin is still intact and it's still underneath there which is good because we would in case it had um, snapped off when the gate had been knocked at some point but while we've been working away and uncovering all of the stone here we found another unusual stone which we just like finding these stones we're just in we, we just don't know where they've come from or anything i'll show you it now so you can have a little look and if you can give us an idea where they've come from 
So, these are the two new stones that we found, but this is all being carved. So it's like a, it's got what, one, eight sides to it. And then obviously it just chamfers down on each of the corners with a square bottom. And it's all in granite. You can see obviously it's shining there. But we haven't got a clue where that's from. It looks like it's some sort of base of a pillar. And then we've got this one, which has obviously got a spike on, and that's gone up into like a, it's got a bit of a slope to it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera here, but it does slope down. But yeah, obviously they don't go together, but we just don't know where they're from or what they were used for. So, we said we'll probably use these in this area somewhere, around Mum's um, little rockery or barbecue area, because it is lovely. And we used the other one with a little fountain in. So yeah, so we have no idea what the stones we use for, where they're from or anything. Um, again, it's just everything that we've got, like that little font. We've got these, all the stones in the forest. We just don't know. But I better get this cement mix on now, get sorted and get rebuilding this wall. So while we're working away on the wall, obviously almost there, I've got one layer left to do on this top part and a little bit left to do on the other side and then I can get all the capping stones on and get it all finished, which is amazing. Obviously it's looking absolutely fantastic and in time we'll get the other side rendered and it'll be brilliant for an entrance this then. It'll be like a, a proper nice entrance for us. Um, but while I've been working, obviously I've been sifting through the stone because I've needed so much to backfill it. I, just, I didn't realise just how much stone actually goes into building these walls. Not just facing it, but getting the inside um, filled as well. So we've been digging down, digging down, and we've managed to find another decorative stone. 
which I'll show you now. So, I've been digging through here, I've been pulling like all these big stones out, but we have found another one of these ends with the eight sides on and then square on the bottom. But if you can just make it out because it's literally like sunk into the ground halfway down, but we've got obviously the side there, side there, and then a side there, and then we'll see the square bottom. So we'll have to properly dig it out because it's literally stuck right through in the ground. But obviously it's been here some time because it's more than half the way into the ground. Um, and the other one that we found was literally just over here in this pile of stone. So we've got that one. And then over here, put it out of the way for now. We've got this one. So God knows what they were for. They look like there were some sort of pillars just because of the, the way they've been carved. And it is granite. As you can see around here, the colour on it. But we just don't know where they were from, if they were from part of the original chateau before the tower got added, or if they were from some other building. We just haven't got a clue what they're actually from. So I think we're gonna clean them up and use them somewhere. So yeah, it's just a, a mystery with all of these stones that we're finding as we're working our way around it all. It's brilliant uncovering them all and finding all these new things, but it's just sort of frustrating in a way because you want to know the, the story, where they come from and why they're here now. But I'm sure we'll hopefully in time we'll be at a piece together bit by bit with it. But I think we'll pop them away for now and once the walled garden's done, then they'd be nice in the walled garden as plinths for some statues. So we can still use them and see them and make a feature of them really. So yeah, still unsure what the other one's for, this tall one. I don't know if this was for some sort of post um, for when they had the building where we use a log store now. But we've got them now and we'll make a feature of them. So. I will crack on now and then hopefully once we've got this finished we will be able to get the gates on which will be brilliant and then get the actual ramp we'll get all of that um, like scooped out with the digger and then it's ready to start using which will be good we won't be able to clutter the front of the shuttle up with our low cars so yeah we'll crack on now So that's the wall almost done. Yep. I think I've got one more layer to do on this side mm -hmm. and one more layer to do on the other on the side. side. And then just a bit of pointing, isn't there? Yeah, bits of pointing left to do Clean and to, to get the top part filled in. Mm -hmm. And then the most important part. Mm -hmm. Getting the gates on. Yeah, getting the gate on. Yeah. So it's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to get sorted now because that's going to be the job that we're on with. Yeah, we're so keen to get that on, yeah. <laughs> the gate on. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we've been waiting for, well, since we've come, it was another place that was just a mess, wasn't mess. it? You know, yeah. And, yeah. Um, just another one of those things, once we get this done, it's cleared. But cleared. it was a state down here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a mess. Yeah. So our friends here with the JCB again, luckily, so we can mm -hmm. get the gate on. Yeah. So we better get cracking. Yeah. Check out our next video and you'll be able to see the, the actual gate on. going back on <gasps> and it'll all be hopefully finished. Finished, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely will be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But hope you've liked this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It massively helps us. There's still loads of you that watch us every week yeah. but aren't subscribed and yeah. it costs you nothing and mm -hmm. it massively helps us with it. Yeah, I mean so it does cost now. It's just a quick click of the button click, yeah. um, and it, it, you know, it, it does us a favour. Yep, but for now we better get cracking because the JCP is waiting. <laughs> it's waiting to go, I can hear it there, you can hear yep. it in the background. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us 
on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.